point. Got very good with the camera today. Two miles to go. 102 miles to go. We're in beautiful bar. It's a nice day to have a wander around the city and go shopping. We're not going to do that. Is it label? Last one. Whatever. Right, ready to go. got rained on. It started, it looks sunny now, but it was torrential rain and there was a bull in the fields. We had to go downhill through the mud. <laughs> day one. But now it's glorious sunshine, no one Day one, how are they all this? Absolutely drenched. Whee. Fuck that colours on. Yeah. Sticks, really helpful. Thanks everyone who advised us to get sticks. But we have made it. To Tog Hill House Farm. This is where we're staying tonight. Um, it's raining again very heavily. Well, we're walking on a major road, which is very difficult. We also threw a field of cows to try to run at us. Chased by about 30 cows. Yeah. My feet, despite having waterproof shoes. I've been chased by cows before. Soaking. I'm not sure my shoes are going to dry in time for tomorrow. Woo! Goes well so far. Hey, well done. Ten miles done. <laughs> Ten miles done. Nice shoes to go. Nice shoes to go. All right. Good evening. It is Saturday evening, and we are in bed after a uh, long afternoon, long day of activity, but long afternoon of walking. Some of it in rain, um, which was a bit miserable. I'm very tired. And you'll be very, very tired, aren't we? And we know that tomorrow we've got it about 18, 19 miles. Had a bit of a fail since we've been here because the bus does not run enough hot water. Mm. And it was very cold in the room because the window had been left open and rained all over the bed. So I'm ready to get to the next place now. Yeah, so it'll be a bit smelly tomorrow. But hopefully we'll have a nice warm <laughs> shower when we get there. Yeah. Yeah, but we'll be all right. About 92 hours to go. Day two. Day tomorrow. two tomorrow. We're going to absolutely be, uh, be, be rocking it. <laughs> can't even talk. No, I'm going to be tired. We're both really tired, but it'll be. Day one! We'll be fine. We'll feel fresh <laughs> after a good night's sleep, won't yeah. we? All right. No. So we're going to say goodbye. Pretty yeah. good. See you tomorrow. <laughs> These are terrifying cows who chase us through a field not once, but twice. <laughs> Goodbye, cow. Goodbye, cow. I'm <laughs> gonna miss you. We're back on the Cotswold Way, day two. Um, our first 24 hours wasn't the best or as easy as we planned for various reasons, including no hot water at the b, &B. I've so got smallpox. We're a bit smelly and disgusting. Hey, speak for yourself. This morning. Fresh. Oh, well, my shoes didn't dry overnight and they were locked in the B&B owner's house so I still have wet shoes and we left 45 minutes later than planned because of that. Yeah. And the first challenge is up a hill. After the scary cows. After the cows. Now we're going up a hill. So, yay for day two. We're positive, we're feeling good. We're feeling all right, we'll get through this. Lots of miles on today. Look after each other. We'll be fine. Can't wait to get to... Can't wait for you to have a shower. <laughs> till I have a shower. We have a shower. We you have think, a shower. That's what I said. We have a shower. I smell. Ooh. Right. We are now crossing the M4. Uh, it's about quarter to eleven. Morning, and uh, we've made useful progress. Done seven and a bit miles. Uh, Noisy! Noisy, noisy. The car is a motorway. Um, we walk over now. Let's see. So 
the road there. So uh, yeah, N4, right away, going to Wales. Not sure why you'd want to do that, but some people want to. <laughs> um, and we'll go and uh, stop about an hour or so, have some lunch. Bye for now. over there. Well I think that's Wales. So you can see the Severn Bridge. Um, if you're very very quiet you can hear the Welsh voice choir. Yeah I think you can hear the choir just singing gently there so it's definitely Wales. Final stretch. We got to a little bit of water. That's quite pretty and um we're quite tired. We took a wrong turn and probably added nearly an extra mile on. So we've done 21-ish miles today and it should have been 19. That's okay. Uh, so we've got to turn off soon and find the next cottage or B&B, &B, we're not sure. Um, but hoping to be there in the next 15 minutes and then get a shower. Good morning for well, day three. We are now walking the Cotswold Way again, back on the track after a good night's rest. There's lovely Jill. And we are, um, we had a good night's rest, didn't we? And we put a, um, we some nice food. We just recharged our batteries a bit. Uh, but it's seven o'clock now, we're off again. Uh, about 17 and a half miles to go today. Um, and it's a beautiful morning, a bit cool, but it's bright, there's some sunshine, um, so the weather's looking good. Um, and we're off. And we're off. We've just finished our first mile, and it's all been very steeply uphill. That's not steep compared to the beginning bit. Tired, tired already. Very. We've made it to Nibbly Knoll, which is a funny name. Jill's just trying to push me down the hill <laughs> by whacking me with her rucksack. Oh, I've hit it with my sticks a few times a little by harsh. mistake today I've done nothing as well. Wrong. I've done nothing but we've wrong. got a cracking view, so we're going to sit here and have our bacon and egg sandwiches. Yay! Day four begins 7.08 a.m. We've had another short night's sleep and we've got 19 miles to do today. How's Andrew? I'm feeling good. I mean, spirit, everything's aching and spirits are low, but we're doing it for the kids. We're doing it for a great charity. <laughs> we're doing it for, what charity are we doing it for? Nothing. Not doing it for charity? No. Well, what's the point then? Let's go home. Okay. Just climb to the top of here. It's a lovely sunny morning. Got a little bit lost again. <laughs> Just a little bit this time. But it was worth the view. Good. Lovely morning stroll along the canal by Strout. Hey, we've just come across a secret vineyard. Uh, on the edge of Stroud uh, and it makes me think of one thing quite a fancy glass of wine little uh, pit stop first stop of the day on day four mm -hmm. for a bit of brioche just had some food 
at a nice pub. Tasty. Which was actually on the Cotswold Way. A bit full now. We want to stay here all afternoon, but we can't. I would like to stay here for the whole afternoon. We have afternoon. eight and a half miles at least to go to oh. our next uh, place of rest. Oh, I just ate Hunter's chicken. I feel a bit tired. Some of it was pink. She may die. <laughs> I need that bit. Just arrived in Painswick, a uh, very, very pretty little village where we would actually like to stay because it's so nice and pretty. But we're not going to, we've got to keep walking. Um, the sun's blazing down and we're doing alright. We are about three miles away from Birdlip, which is where we will finish walking today um, and before our rest day. So only three more miles until a whole day off walking and I think it's safe to say we're pretty tired. I'm fresh as a daisy, I'm absolutely fine. You keep saying that when you're actually knackered. Um, yeah, my feet are sore and we made one rule which was to eat little and often. Failed. And don't have big lunches. Failed miserably. But today we found a nice pub and we had lunch and Tasty. it didn't really help. So, three Good. miles and then a long, long rest. So after the pain of the last message, we came upon this. So it's cheered us up a little bit. How are you finding your rest day? Very relaxing, thank you. What have you been doing? We have been laundering our clothes. We have been getting some food and provisions. We've been fixing up a few things, like fixing my sticks, um, running a few errands. And now we are in the bar, drying clothes, our radiator, and having a drink, and playing backgammon. Just having a nice afternoon, quite resting. Hi, Jill. Hi. Are you wearing a bra? <laughs> No. What did you do in Greg's? <laughs> How are you enjoying today? I'm having very much fun, thank you. Who wanted an alcoholic drink first? Sorry? Who wanted an alcoholic drink first? <laughs> me! And it's the first time in a long time. It's been me. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so we are at the end of our rest day here in Birdlip. We've had a nice meal. Um, we've rested a bit, you've slept a bit. You've, we've done uh, our laundry, had a bottle of wine at lunchtime. Yeah, absolutely. We've got sleep. A little bit of shopping, got a few things to take with us, food, a couple of books, um, some extra weight to carry, that's always good. And we should be feeling raring to go, but my feet are really sore. So, wish us luck. Yeah. 20, 21 miles tomorrow. 21 miles tomorrow and then 17 to 18 on Friday, which will take us to our finish point. It will be all over. Yay. Day four of walking begins. 5.58. Ha! And we're leaving the Royal George Hotel, where we had a nice day for two nights and rested. Andrew did a pub quiz by himself while I went to bed. Very boring. Um, and now we're about to get started for a 21 mile day. Good morning, uh, it's coming up to, oh, what's the time now? Five to nine. Uh, Cheltenham! We have Cheltenham behind us. We've got slightly lost again, uh, but this time not our fault. A sign of the, the fault of some wayward signs who took us off our route a bit, but we're back Pointed on. Pointed in completely the wrong direction. We think someone's tampered <sighs> with the signs. But we're back on the Cotswold Way now, and we had the beautiful view of Cheltenham behind us. Um, spirits are mixed. You're feeling fine, I'm feeling a bit grumpy. Um, but that's because it's cold and we've still got a long way to go and we got lost. And I'm a bit grumpy about that. But um, we'll just have to do what we can. Cheer up. Onwards. Onwards. This is one of the not so nice parts of walking in the country. Mm. Oh, noise. We're having a little stop just for some refuel and to sit down for a few minutes as we've walked 13 and a half miles with no break, which is a bit silly and a bit much, but it does mean we only have, how many to go? I don't know, 
nine-ish. We were well over halfway for the day, so we thought we'd stop and then in a few miles there's a nice viewing point, so we'll have our lunch up there. But it's hard not to be a bit down today because the weather's not great, a bit cold, a bit chilly. Yeah. And um, there's been nowhere nice to sit and stop. And, but it's alright, we'll finish today and then one day to go. Good afternoon, it's one o'clock on Thursday and uh, our mood, my mood has increased, cheer up a bit, she's not sure. Uh, we climbed over the top of the hill, uh, we have Chuck Norris course behind us, and it's not an airport despite... Uh, <laughs> is some, it a race course or an airport? Somebody's uh, judging the assumption it might be. And it wasn't me! It wasn't her, so... And that's Cheltenham as well behind That's Cheltenham, uh, which we've been walking around for the last four or five hours by yeah. the sound of feels of it. Steaks for dinner. There's some cows. <laughs> That's not chasing us today. Not chasing us today. Do you know what the fastest cow was who chased us? No. Moo Farah. <laughs> bye bye. Are trying to stop for lunch and we just came across a little bench perfect first for our ages. Perfect bench. And who was on it? Some old people on our bench. Just having a chat. We actually need the bench because we need food intake, calorie intake and uh, we've only got five miles to go ish but we really need some food now because we have it too late we won't feel hungry enough for our steaks. Some people coming here sitting on benches. How dare they? Our bench that was. Started to rain just as we were having our lunch, so we had to pack up quickly. No time to even finish charging the Garmin or finish my Rolos. It's very, very disappointing. <laughs> very disappointing. It's a hill. Oh, we just come from down there and we got to go all the way up. We're approaching Winchcombe, our resting stop for the night and our final pit stop on the Cotswold Way before we complete the trail. Woo! Okay, we are in Winchcombe and we're coming to the right part. We're a little bit sozzled and wet and drowned um, after 23 miles a day. Uh, that's our hotel, the White Hart. Um, beautiful little town, but uh, very, very wet today, um, and we arrive about half past four in the afternoon. So it's been a long day, a long wet day in the afternoon, certainly. Um, but we're here, and we're going to go and uh, enjoy some some heat and some warmth and some dryness. So we'll uh, see you tomorrow. Day. It's about 10 to 8 ish. We're leaving at later today because we treated ourselves to breakfast at the hotel. Cheeky breakfast. Yeah. Delicious. Made sure we didn't have too much. Sausages. And eggs! So we are fueled and ready to do the last 17 miles, except today we're not counting up. Counting down from, counting down. from Winchcombe to Chipping Camden via Broadway. Woo! Here we go! Hi, we've just climbed one of the longest hills, not the steepest, but probably the longest hill we've done so far. There's more to go. we will go up that into that field now. Uh, it's muggy, it's warmer than we thought, both sweating a lot. Uh, what a great way to spend a morning. I'm so delighted to be here. Absolutely delighted. Got a little bit of sunshine. It'd be nice if this was gonna be the weather for the rest of the day, but apparently the rain is due to start around two 
to 3 p.m. Sadly, that is not long from when we were due to be descending into Chipping Camden, so we're probably going to get a bit rained on. Yep, in the beautiful hamlet of Stanway, on the way back from uh, oh, cyclists. cyclists. Uh, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah. I stopped, I stopped my sentence for Andrew, go, go. She cut me off for a change. <laughs> Never happened before. Uh, we're on our way to um, Broadway. Um, we're in a little village called Stanway. Nice little church behind us. Beautiful. Oh. I've run half marathons, I've done various gym sessions, I've played cricket on long hot summer days for hours on end in the field, but I've never done anything as hard as climbing that hill. That was hard, I'm exhausted, we should have got a taxi. For the first time we've seen Broadway Tower in the distance. We should be climbing that in a couple of hours time up to there. We've got to descend first into Broadway and then up there. And it's not a long way after that into Chiffin Camden where we finish. We've just had some lunch in Broadway. And now we're ready for our last five and a half miles. It rained for the 20 minutes we sat down and have lunch. Now beautiful bright sunshine, so that's just Marvellous, isn't it? Thank you so much. For that. And we have a uh, first thing to contend with is a mile long hill, Ugh. which is quite steep. We've climbed it before, so we know what to expect. We know how shitty it is. But we have come to Broadway, and I always thought my talent would bring me to Broadway eventually. Uh, it's been a struggle. Um, it's not quite what I expected. There's no, uh, no bright lights, no grease paint, no, um, no eager young starlets. Hashtag time's up. So, uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's looking pretty good. Are we going the wrong way? Are we? Yeah, it's I don't know. Yeah. All right, she's saying we can go. Right, yeah. gotta, gotta go. There's Broadway Tower looking a lot closer now than it was a few hours ago. We're pretty knackered. But that's our last hill of the trip. So we're feeling quite. Satisfied. We're trying to get ahead of this weather, but we fear it may beat us. Just a few miles outside of Chipping Camden, and the rain has started coming out very heavily. We've had to cover up our rucksacks and our heads. It's a uh, pretty nasty, pretty grim weather. We're about three, two, two and a half miles to go. So hopefully we'll be back in about an hour or so. And it's, uh, as you can see, absolutely chucking it down. So uh, no more videos for the time being. There we go. What's filming you? Soggy. Soggy. Soggy, says Jill. Last few yards down into Chipping Camden. Soon be on the high street, we're finding the finishing post and then yeah we're finished. Still raining a bit and we're uh, sozzled through, so not sozzled, <laughs> what's the word? Not, not sozzled yet. Sorry? Soaked through. Yeah. Soggy. So we'll, we'll soggy. We'll be sozzled later. Here we're going to finish in the market hall in Chicken Camden and we're looking for the marker that marks the end of our journey it's right here the beginning and the end for us just the end Woo!
She's on the floor right here. There she is, we made it. Cuts our way. There's the end, the end, bar 100 miles. So we've probably done a bit more than that. We've also got here the finishing stone, like the one in Bath, uh, which we have reached on this wet Friday afternoon. Finished! There we go. We're done! We finished it. We are tired and wet, very happy. Being fit, uh, I can't even speak, feeling uh, like we've achieved something quite big today. We've done it. We're soggy and wet feet. We thought we walked about 110 miles, haven't we, at least? Maybe a few more. But a few more in the last few days since uh, last Saturday. And we're here now, so we're going to go into our hotel and have some luxury. Absolutely. All right, cheerio, bye. Here's our champagne to treat us after six days on the road. Got a lovely room here at the Cotswold House Hotel. Lovely, lovely room. Ooh, people outside. This is probably the most well-deserved glass of champagne I've ever had. Hey. We've ever had. Pop. There we go. Let's try not to take an eye out after doing all that. Whee! Hey. Oh, yes. If we're in it. Cheers. Cheers. Well done. Finish. Kiss, kiss. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, Saturday morning. The <laughs> Saturday after we finished Cotswold Way, walking 114 miles in total. And, ow, what ow. and what are we doing? We're doing park run at the fire training college near Mott in the Marsh, which is totally ridiculous considering how much pain we're both in and how we could actually be nice, snuggly in a hotel bedroom, <laughs> keeping warm or having a nice breakfast, but no, we're doing this instead with about 200 other people. Anyway. <laughs>